in today's class we will be learning the basics of turtle programming for class 6th this is your book that is given to you by kendriya vidyalaya sangathan and these are the characters of aryan and gauri who will be walking you through through the basics of programming in turtle so let us first see the syllabus of turtle programming language that is given for the month of april and may see first is programming what and how means what do you mean by programming what are the instructions how instructions work what is a library these are some of the terms that i'll be teaching you in today's session after that i'll discuss what do you mean by turtle in python so let us start the today's session see today we'll be covering only what do you mean by programming what is a python turtle library how the library works and how do we start turtle and what is a screen area and what is the pen in turtle that means 2.2 2.1 and 2.3 we'll be discussing these three things in detail so let us start see you already have the book i'll be teaching you from this very basic example see if i ask you how do you make a sandwich obviously this is a very funny question because this has nothing to do with computers but i think it will help you understand how the steps are carried out how the instructions are followed and so on so let us discuss this example see if i ask you to make a sandwich then what will you do you'll go to kitchen you'll open the fridge that means this is number 2 step then you'll take out the bread tomatoes and the cheese slices you'll take a plate and a knife you'll wash the tomatoes wipe them dry then you'll cut thin slices of tomato obviously in the supervision of some elder then you'll take one slice of bread on plate you'll arrange slices of tomato on the bread slice then you'll place cheese slice on the top of tomatoes then keep second slice of bread and the sandwich is ready wow it has so many steps but when i eat a sandwich i don't remember there are so many steps involved in the same manner when i want my computer to do something there are certain steps that i need to follow if these steps are followed properly then only computer understands what do you want the computer to do for example for example if i want to make a simple drawing then what i have to do i have to select a pen let me show you the example with the help of paint brush that you have already done in your previous classes if i want to make a line then what i have to do i'll select a line i'll click here i'll drag it in the direction where i want to draw the line and after my drawing of line is complete i'll release the mouse now this is a very basic step what i did first step i selected the shape second i placed the cursor at the location where i wanted to draw then i moved the 
cursor and when the desired shape that means the desired length of line is achieved i stopped so there were three four steps which were involved for just the basic drawing of a line and you can easily see in the bottom there are some numbers which are written try to observe carefully when my cursor was here it was showing me some number when i moved along the line up to the point where the line ended then again the numbers changed so you can see for drawing a line i needed the start position and the end position let me show you another example of drawing the line with the help of points please observe very carefully if i have something like this then this is the starting point and when i move along the boxes through which i am moving give me the exact location of the drawing being made so in this manner i am giving instruction to my computer and this is the pen i started from this point and in the bottom you can see this is 158 by 116 pixel pixel means the point the box that you are seeing here when i move along the line in this box you will see this is 518 by 116 pixel that means i am moving along the line in horizontal direction i think this point is clear so let us move on to our topic of python turtle now see one more thing which is very interesting i want to draw your attention towards that he is mr dinesh patel one of the computer science teachers of kendriya vidyalaya sangathan he has developed this robot name of this robot is shalu wow very interesting robots are very much fun to work with nowadays everywhere we are seeing robots are working robots are helping in japan and even in india in bangalore one of the restaurants they are taking the services of robots to serve their customers so robots are our friends if we use them judiciously if you use them properly so what does a robot do a robot listens to you and follows your orders isn't it so let us see what this robot does name of this robot is i told you it is shalu name of the sir is mr dinesh patel he has developed this robot using a language that is python and this robot is artificially intelligent artificially intelligent means it can perform some things which humans do obviously with the help of instructions and it can speak nine indian languages and 38 foreign languages great yes you heard it right it can speak nine indian languages and 38 foreign languages so let us move on next thing that comes to our mind is humanoid humanoid means human like robots they are human like robots that means they they can show you expressions they can show you certain behavior they can show you anger they can understand what do you say and in the same manner i can say they are artificially intelligent and the branch of science that deals with making robots is called robotics robotics means 
the branch of science that deals with making robots. So up to this point, you may be able to understand what is a robot, what is artificial intelligence and what is a humanoid. So let us start with the topic that is Python turtle. So Python turtle is, as you can see here, there is something which is similar to a turtle. So what a turtle has to do in programming or in computers. This is obviously an animal which is found in zoo. We generally uh, see a turtle in zoo. So how a turtle is helping us or will be helping us in learning or in performing instructions or in anything related to doing some work. So let us try to understand these simple concepts. As I told you, these two characters, Gauri and Aryan, they will be walking you through learning of Python, learning of all the computer concepts which are discussed, which are presented in Technofun. So here, Gauri is telling Aryan, if I want to make a pattern, I told you uh, that I just drew a line in Python in paintbrush. How can we make these lines? How can we make some patterns or something like that? So let us first discuss some more examples. See, if I have to draw this rectangle in paintbrush, this is quite simple. You just select the shape of rectangle drag it and it is drawn. In the same manner, all these shapes can be drawn. But have you ever thought how these things are working? How computer is taking your instructions? How things are being carried out? No, I think you have never given a thought to this. Let me explain you. These shapes or anything which is done by the computer is not automatic. This is done by a person who is called a programmer. So here you can see whatever work a computer does for us is due to the coding of the softwares by these intelligent people called programmers. That means if you also write some instructions for computers, then you will also be called a programmer. So here you should now know what the programmer does. Programmer gives instruction to the computer so that it follows and works accordingly. Okay. So now let me tell you what is a turtle in Python. Python is a programming language. That means a programmer writes some instructions in Python and computer performs those instructions. So the turtle, this is the turtle that you see in zoo. This becomes this triangular shaped object when programming needs to be done. So how will you take this? Where will you find this turtle in computers? You have to simply go to this site. This is the name of website from where you can download Python. Python, when loaded to your computer and opened, it will have a screen like this. Okay, so Python screen is like this and it is ready to listen to your instructions. Means you can write your commands here. So the first thing that you need to do is this screen is called Python IDLE screen. Okay? IDLE means Integrated Learning Environment. Integrated Learning Environment. So, here I want to draw your attention to a very interesting fact that when you move your turtle, everything comes out from its stomach. No, I'm just joking. 
actually when the turtle moves it draws the shapes it changes the color when you give some instruction so you can simply imagine that the stomach of turtle is a storehouse of all the shapes all the colors and when it moves it draws the shapes and the colors so in today's class the last thing that you you should understand and learn is what is the screen and turtle in python so first let me show you and after that we'll discuss see this is the screen this is the screen where objects are shown where drawings or patterns are shown and this shape this shape i just showed you this is called the turtle and turtle means the pen and this screen where turtle draws anything it is called the canvas so canvas means the drawing screen it is just like a blank paper and this is just like the tip of your pen so how will you bring these uh, turtle and the drawing screen by writing these three lines import turtle screen is equals to turtle dot screen and pen is equals to turtle dot turtle so in the next class we'll be starting from these three points only please go through the concepts and remember these three lines by heart thank you so much hope you enjoyed today's session